team under uh, Mr. Ngai is responsible for coordinating the works of various departments. I have received complaints from Zi Tang also. It was Wednesday. I tried to locate the secretary, but I failed to do so. I was told later that he was not in Hong Kong. The secretary said that the DS would trigger the mechanism and the senior ranking officials would know about it. Now, this is very bureaucratic. Did you tell him to trigger it or he himself made the decision to trigger it? Or is it that he should report to you first and then he would trigger the mechanism? Now, um, I was listening to you very carefully. You were speaking with a low voice when you talked about incidents um, at the beginning of this period and then you raised your voice when you talked about the chartered flights and now you are still depending on the market you rely on Cathay Pacific and Dragon Air the first mistake is that you said you did not have to do anything that the market could do it for you you know the central authorities in the mainland did not do so the government itself acted if you could rely on the market all the time, then we would not need you. At least you should have told Cathay Pacific to do something. Did you ask Cathay Pacific to do something? At that time, um, you had the press conference. The reporters did not photo me with this um, placard. I said that you were having total disregard for human lives. Now, I would say today that a citizen died in a foreign land only because the CE blindly believed in small government big market. The daylight is scared out of officials only because the Secretary for Security couldn't care less that Hong Kong citizens are stranded. So what is your mistake? Your mistake is to believe in small government big market and you always rely on the market to do things for you. Secondly, you just do not know that somebody could die that people could die. Now it is a car crash and uh, that puts you in a better position because you can blame it on a car crash. But if it is because of the esca escalation of violence in Thailand and if there is the throwing of a grenade, what could happen? Do you know that? You are a political accountability official and you have to be held politically accountable this time. First of all, you underestimated the situation politically. And secondly, you also committed a mistake administratively. Are we going to invoke the LegCo PMP ordinance again? I just did not know what you did. Where were you on that day? Where were you? Why could you not have come back? Did you issue directives? The LSD tried to find you. Your secretary, your personal assistant, got the call and he or she said that uh, you were on leave. Actually, your PS, personal secretary, were also on leave and then uh, he or she asked us to call up Pack One Look, the director of immigration. And then we were given the telephone number 1868. Who did you regard us as? Shouldn't we uh, have been given a direct line to CE like that one for George Bush. Well, the, what did the CE do? He was joking yesterday at lunch with us. Shouldn't he be ashamed? He said yesterday that we already issued travel advisory telling them not to go. So um, what would you expect of us? And he was actually saying that if you did not listen to us, then uh, it served you right. And by big government, a big market, small government, it is uh, among, you are amounting to say that you did not want to compete with the market. I'd like to ask the Secretary for Security, did you instruct your personal assistant or secretary to tell us to call the immigration director if we could not locate you? And why would we be given the number 1868? How can you be accountable to Hong Kong people? Tell me what you did those few days. Did you report to the CE and to Henry Tang? Did you tell your personal secretary that if a councillor should call you up, including Mr. Lau Kongwa, they should be told to call 1868? 
Last week, well, as I came back yesterday, I already said that at that time I was in South Korea and uh, Japan for a visit. Did you have SMS on your telephone? Why did you not send SMS to travelers? You should have told them how they would be rescued. It is very easy for you to go from South Korea to Thailand. It's a very short flight. Secretary, all the time I was in contact with my colleagues at the Bureau. I was aware of the situation and I knew what measures were being taken. It was said just now that we did not understand the situation, we did not assess the political environment, and we did not warn travelers. But the fact is, starting from September this year, every two or three days, we would issue travel advisories to tell Hong Kong people that the situation in Thailand was very chaotic. And unless absolutely necessary, Hong Kong people should not travel to Thailand. But as I was saying, Hong Kong is a free society, and we must respect the free choice of our people. Therefore, the SALG cannot do otherwise. Even if we think that the situation in Thailand is far from stable, we cannot mandate that nobody can go to Thailand for pleasure or for other purposes. Therefore, it is not that we do not advise against it. We have been doing it. Mr. Lam Kwok Hong said that my personal assistant told him to call up the Director of Immigration, and then he was told to call 1868. Let me find out about this. Look, this is very crucial. Please stay in the queue. Sorry, Miss Emily Lau. Did your personal assistant contact you? I was told directly to call up Director of Immigration, but you have not re returned my call. Did your PA call you? Didn't you have SMS? How come the Director of Immigration, a, such a low-ranking official, could keep counselors away? We were talking about human lives. Okay, please stay in the queue. Oh, he gave me such a sloppy answer.